The army are called in to help as thousands of homes in Scotland and Northern England are still without power almost a week after Storm Arwen. The army are being brought in to help people in Scotland in the aftermath of Storm Arwen. Across Scotland and parts of Northern England, thousands of homes are still without power nearly a week after the storm hit. Well, in a moment, we'll get the latest from Fiona Trott, who's in Cumbria. But first, let's go to Ben Phillip, who's in Aberdeenshire. And Ben, we're hearing about 120 military personnel are going to be deployed. What, what are they going to be doing? Well, yes, Ben, Aberdeenshire Council confirmed this morning that that number is actually up to more than 130 military personnel who will be arriving here in North East Scotland uh, following a formal request uh, for assistance to the UK government. We're being told that they'll focus on door-to-door -door welfare checks uh, in more remote uh, communities, particularly for uh, vulnerable uh, residents of the community. In fact, uh, just a short time ago, we saw a, a minibus of soldiers uh, depart from here in the uh, Aberdeenshire village of a boy. Now, of course, some residents in this region have now been without power for six nights, which is uh, obviously less than ideal given the, the amount of snow that we've had here overnight. Uh, we're being told that personnel will be deployed to 11 locations across the region. That includes to uh, Afford, Huntley, uh, Fraserburgh and Stonehaven. The latest update from energy provider SSEN says that more than 3,000 customers are still without power and that's mainly in more rural areas and Aberdeenshire is the, the worst affected but engineers uh, as you can imagine are continuing to try and restore supplies uh, following damage caused by Storm Arwen last Friday which is being described as a once in a generation event. Uh, ben thank you uh, that's the picture in Scotland let's see what's going on in Cumbria right now with Fiona Trot. Fiona what's the latest there? Well, around 2007 properties are still without power here, most of them in the south of the county. And Electricity Northwest have set themselves quite an ambition. They want to get everybody uh, back on the grid by tomorrow. They've got engineers from all over the country helping with this. They've come from the southwest. Some of them have got ferries over from the Isle of Man. And it's a massive task. Take a look at these pictures from the A66 on the Cumbria Durham border earlier today. You can see helicopters out assessing the pylon damage there. There is no phone signal for people living in that area at the moment. People are in need. A lot of them can't simply move and, and go into a hotel. You can see that this is a very rural area. A lot of them on farms. They can't leave those. Some people are very vulnerable. And that's why people at this fire and ambulance station here in Ulverston are helping them. They've set up a hub. They are in touch with around 600 uh, people in the, this sort of South uh, Cumbria area at the moment. A lot of them knocking on doors, checking that they have everything that they need. And that work is important because more wintry weather is set to arrive here in the next few days, making these cold and sometimes freezing conditions even worse for people who are enduring this at the moment and have no electricity. Ben.